Warm welcome, you're watching 7 at 7, the only news bulletin where we curate the day's top seven stories for our viewers. I'm Preeti Chaudhary. We've got some breaking news, but first up, let me quickly take you through the headlines. All right, viewers, I'm going to go into the latest news break that is coming in, and it's terrible news coming in from the valley. Indications suggest, and news just filtering in, that terrorists have targeted forces again in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Traffic cop has been shot at in Rajori, Kadal area in Sirinagar. This is the latest info that is filtering in as we speak, viewers. Uh, terrorists have targeted uh, forces once again in Jammu and Kashmir. And this time their target was a traffic police personnel who was shot at in Rajori, Kadal area in Srinagar. All right, as those details filter in, uh, trust us to keep you apprised on all developments. I want to quickly shift focus to the big developing story, political story. Well, Mamta Banerjee viewers was in Maharashtra, Mumbai. The TMC said it was an attempt to get investment going in the state of West Bengal, but her visit was out and out political. Why we say that? The Bengal chief minister made her biggest attack on the Congress and Gandhis. After her meeting with NCP chief Sharad Pawar, when asked on Congress, Mamta said that what can be done if a party doesn't want to fight. Not only that, she said there is no UPA now as it is history, suggesting a Congress mukt opposition in 2024. The stinging attack comes in the backdrop of a series of desertions in Congress. Several Congress leaders in recent days have jumped ship to TMC. Apart from that, these attacks assume significance as Mamta avoided meeting Sonia when she was in Delhi earlier this month. आपको लगता है कि शरद जी को आप यूपीए का नेतृत्व नेतृत्व तो करना चाहिए चेयरमैन बनाना चाहिए अरे क्या यूपीए अभी यूपीए नहीं है शरद जी क्या बोला एक ऑल्टरनेटिव स्ट्रांग होना चाहिए जो लड़ाई करते हैं अगर कोई लड़ते नहीं है तो हम क्या करें हम चाहते हैं कि सबको लड़ाई करना है लेकिन में रह गए मेरे को मन था कि आज जो परिस्थिति चल रहा है जैसे जैसा फैसिज्म चल रहा है इसको खिलाफ में एक स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑल्टरनेटिव फोर्स बनाना चाहिए अकेला कोई नहीं कर सकता है जो स्ट्रॉन्ग जिधर में आए उसको लेके करना पड़ेगा इसी के लिए शारद जी इज द सीनियर मोस्ट लीडर बहुत दिन से हम शारद जी का साथ में काम किया है इसी के लिए मैं शरद जी को साथ पॉलिटिकल कार्टिस और डिस्कशन करने के लिए आई हुई है शरद जी ने जो बात कहा है हम सहमत हूँ Everybody know the reality of the Indian politics. Without Congress, anybody can defeat BJP means. I think that is not nearly a dream only. All right, that's the big development coming in right now. At 7.30, we're going to revisit it with a debate, but let's cut across to the other development viewers. Well, the farmers have said even though the three farm laws have been repealed, they're going to continue fighting for MSP. But is there a split where the farm unions come into question? A faction of farmers seem to want to end the stir. While the BKU leader, Rakesh Tikat, remains defiant on continuing the protest over the MSP demand, some former unions from Punjab and Haryana even held a separate meet today at Singhu border. However, the Samyuk Kisan Mocha has distanced itself from this meeting and is set to hold its own huddle on Saturday to decide the future course of action for the stir. Tikath has sent SKM leader Jagtar Singh Bajwa to the Singhu border to iron out the growing differences within the unions. Meanwhile, Haryana government has called farm unions for further talks and is likely to withdraw all criminal cases against protesters. All right, on day three of the parliament, uh, the dharna by the 12 suspended MPs continues outside at the parliament compound. Rajya Sabha began on a stormy note. Rajya Sabha chair Venkaya Naidu slammed MPs over ruckus and the house was adjourned for the day after multiple adjournments. Earlier suspended MPs began their dharna outside parliament, which was attended by Rahul Gandhi, amongst others. Leader of opposition in Rajya Sabha, Malik Arjun Kharge, wrote a letter to Naidu on behalf of suspended MPs. Kharge called the move an unprecedented excessive action, adding that MPs should be given a chance to present their case. Venkaya Naidu has already rejected the demand to revoke suspensions and said the House will rethink if MPs express remorse for assaulting Rajya Sabha staff and lowering the dignity of the House. 
but the suspended MPs have rejected any apology. Some opposition parties, barring Congress, have threatened to boycott the entire winter session. What's going down, viewers, in the state of Uttar Pradesh? The deputy GM, CM, Keshav Prasad Maurya, tweeted a short while back where he said, Ayodhya and Varanasi, the work in the temple is getting done. Mathura is next. What does it indicate? Here's more. December 6th, the day of Babri demolition. 29 years later, on December 6, 2021, the campaign from Ayodhya has shifted to Mathura. As the temple construction begins in Ayodhya, right-wing groups are now raising their voice for a similar campaign at the Krishna Janmabhumi in Holy Mathura. Section 144 has been imposed as the Akhil Bharatiya Hindu Mahasabha plans a mega event in Mathura in a few days from now. They want to perform a Jal Abhishek at the mosque. किसी भी हाल में यहां पर संगठित होकर किसी प्रकार का कार्यक्रम करने की जिला प्रशासन के द्वारा अनुमति नहीं दी गई है इस प्रकार के लोगों को भी चिन्हित किया जा रहा है जो कि शांति व्यवस्था बिगाड़ने के लिए कारक बन सकते हैं and as right wing groups up the ante and yogi government has also joined the campaign with this declaration the up deputy cm keshav prasad maurya tweeted confirming mission mathura after ayodhya CM Yogi Adityanath has also time and again spoken of making Mathura like Ayodhya, a pilgrim center for Hindus. We have seen the day of 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 the day the day of the day of the day the मुझे स्वयं इस बार यहां दर्शन का सौभाग्य प्राप्त हुआ था ये सब हमारे गौरव हैं हमारी विरासत है फॉर द बीजेपी द मथुरा मूवमेंट मैटर्स देयर परफॉर्मेंस इन द रीसेंट लोकल बॉडी पोल्स हैज देम वरीड दैट दे हैव लॉस्ट देयर डोमिनेंस इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट अ मथुरा स्वीप will mean a dominant performance in Western UP, where the farm laws backlash has already hit the BJP. The Saffron Party is putting the focus again on the Mandir movement to seal the core Hindu vote bank. Mandir politics is back in focus in Uttar Pradesh, as the BJP has now raised its voice for the Mathura movement. For years, Ayodhya has dominated headlines. Will the focus now shift to Krishna Janmabhumi? Bureau Report, India Today. All right, viewers, from all the politics, let's now shift focus uh, to the new variant, Omicron, and the aftermath of that, especially the impact on travel. Here is where India stands. The invisible enemy is back in a scary avatar with over 30 mutations. Amid Omicron threat, center and states are rushing to contain the mutant. In a mega move, the center has put brakes on full resumption of international flights. Aviation watchdog DGCA, which fixed 15th of December as the date for restarting international flights, said it is watching the situation and a new date will be notified in due course. Maharashtra has made seven-day institutional quarantine mandatory for flyers from at-risk nations. Flyers will be tested three times on the second, fourth and seventh day of their arrival. All positive passengers will be shifted to the hospital. Negative passengers will be further subjected to a seven-day home quarantine. Intrastate flyers need full vaccination or recent negative RT-PCR test. For interstate flyers, negative RT-PCR is must. 
there are more than 40 50 booths that have been put up where rt pcr tests will are being done apart from that uh, there's a wa waiting lounge for people to wait in where uh, you know the, if the testing really takes a while they'll be asked to wait also for people who have connecting flights uh, try you know if they are in transit then for them also antigen tests have been put in place Delhi has made testing mandatory on arrival. If the report is negative, then the passenger will be subjected to a home quarantine for seven days and get tested again. All positive flyers will be admitted to hospital. There is a separate room in the airport which has been made where all the passengers coming or will be asked to sit. The test will be done and they'll have to wait till the time the result does not come. Now typically the, re the result takes anywhere between five to six hours which means that your flight uh, will take it longer, it will take you longer to come out of the airport. The new norms spell hassle for flyers who are now made to wait for hours for test results and brave long queues at airports. कोई गाइडेंस नहीं थी हमको कि आपको पीसीआर टेस्ट कराना है और नहीं तो हम हम लोग पहले ऑनलाइन बुक करा के आते हैं उसके बाद दो टेस्ट हैं यहाँ पे एक है नॉर्मल टेस्ट और एक है रैपिड फायर नॉर्मल टेस्ट लाइक वो ले रहे हैं आठ घंटे और जो रैपिड फायर है वो एक घंटा बोल रहे हैं बट एक घंटे में किसी को रिपोर्ट दी नहीं तो अंदर काफी लोग परेशान हो रहे हैं कि बच्चों के साथ छोटे छोटे बच्चे वेट नहीं कर पाए बस खाने को कुछ नहीं है The WHO meanwhile opposed blanket travel ban calling them ineffective to curb the virus threat with Vidya and Ashwarya Paliwal, Bureau Report, India Today. Well, welcome, you are watching our Fact Check segment where we bust certain claims masquerading to be facts on social media platforms. Now, there's a claim floating about that there has been deaths due to the Omicron strain, which are much higher. No death due to the Omicron strain has been reported yet. That, viewers, is the Fact Check on this claim. A quick break, you stay with me. On the other side is To The Point with me.